Yo guys, I got a good tutorial for y'all today. Um, this is gonna be how to manage your low ends, and it's really nice, dude. Y'all gonna like this if y'all having trouble with like meshing your kick and your bass, all right, or just dealing with low end in general. First off, you're gonna want to be uh, listening on something with like a subwoofer or any like studio monitors that can actually produce lower frequencies because if you're on just like a laptop you're really not going to be able to know uh like what you're you're not gonna be able to hear because it, it can't play the low frequencies from like 100 hertz down or you could be on some like uh some decent headphones but anyway um what we have here let me see this what we have here is a couple different examples i have like a house 808 I have like this little house side chain thing. And then I have this where you side chain just the uh, low ends of like an instrument, right? And that, that's really cool. I like that a lot. But anyway, this 808, this first 808 thing, all this is, is, okay, first of all, I'm going to play it with no EQ on anything. And no envelopes. And this is what it sounds like. Um, I'm going to uh, put a, a 100 hertz low pass on the master just so y'all can really listen to the low end only you hear how like the kick in the sub is like uh like clashing really bad like having a peak this is with the envelopes on so a lot better and basically how I do that is, this is just a sine wave, okay? Alright, it's literally just, just a sine wave. But I have a volume envelope and a little bit of pitch envelope on here. This is the normal kick, how it sounds. Here how it has a tail on it. Alright, first thing you want to do is put an envelope to make it shorter. To delete that tail pretty much. And then you're going to want to put an EQ on the kick that high passes like a little bit below where the kick stops. So like if you look in this top window right here, you'll see it's about 70 hertz. You see that? And I just high pass to like 50 or whatever. And then got um, these this sine wave. I have this um, envelope right here. With some delay, attack, and some the delay and the attack and the decay are pretty much the main parts. Um, the reason for the delay and the attack, right, is so that as the kick is fading out, this is fading in, kind of like a side chain thing. But um, and you and you could probably do it with a side chain, but basically without the kick or the delay in the attack with just the decay and the hold it still clashes a little here yeah, that sounds rough so you add some decay or delay and attack let's see what this does You're basically making a whole new tail for the kick. But that's basically what that is. It just fades in and fades out. Okay. Or if you don't want it, if you don't want it to fade out, you can just put the hold all the way up. But uh and then you have like a small pitch envelope, which really doesn't do anything because uh the attack and the delay 
of this envelope. Pretty much don't hear this. I just do it. You mess around with the pitch uh, amount. Go up. Or, like it starts from up and then it goes down. Right? Very fast. Kind of to like just mesh it with the kick. Okay? And you can mess around with that. So yeah, you can just mess around with that. But that's that. That's a basic one. Uh, actually, it's the most complex one. <laughs> These other ones are pretty simple. For this, uh, that's the low end. All that's happening here is you have the kick uh, with no no envelope on it, basically. It's just very minute, like it decays at just a small bit. And then you have just a saw wave with no envelope on it at all. And you have the same EQ on this kick. And then you have pretty much the same EQ on the saw. But the main thing is this peak controller. You insert the peak controller, right? And what that is, is it lowers the volume of this. So when you first open, I'm going to do it again. When you first open this peak controller, it'll be on mute. It'll mute this. So you have to unmute it. And then you right click right here. You press link to controller. Then you go bring down this menu and you find you go to peak plus LFO on whatever um, instrument you're trying to do it to. Then accept. Then you turn this volume all the way down. And then you just mess with the tension and decay. Oh, you have to set the bass too. For mixer sliders, it's 80%, which you can see in this top corner right here. 80%. Right, you can mess with the the decay time and the tension. But that's basically all that is. It's just whenever this kick hits, this bass uh, is lower in volume and then it comes up when the kick is done. Or as the kick is like, as the tail is going down. Um, so basically this does all the work for you. The P controller, okay. And then this last one. Is the same thing. This kick has no envelope on it. And this is just a super saw pluck. And it has some low end on it. This is its solo. You'll hear that low end. Well, basically this is for when you don't want the whole instrument side chain, you just want the low end. So same thing with the peak controller. Okay. Do the same shit with the peak controller. But then you go to this EQ, you right click on this, link to controller. And then you link this to the side chain. And what that'll do is it'll make it go down, up and down with the kick, just like this volume did. Except it's just the low end portion of this instrument. And you can control where like this is. And for this, for the EQ, the base is uh, 50%. All right, so put that to 50 or whatever you have it at, like, you can do whatever you want. And look, this is what it sounds like without it.
y'all hear how it like um really cleans it up so that's a neat little trick that i like to do um but yeah anyway that's it i hope that helps you manage your low end um but one more minor tip is you might want to uh, mess around with this reverse polarity buttons okay if you're dealing with a kick and a bass kind of clashing uh you can reverse the polarity on one or the other and it might help it out it might help some phasing issues but um yeah that's pretty much it um i hope this helped y'all because i mean low end is a big part of songs but it's uh it's it's a really small part as in um like it's it's easy to fix you know uh so yeah anyway hope this helped y'all this has been sansa omg bye